So, what next? Clearly, if the waste pipe goes straight down, then I'm going to have to rethink some of the bathroom situation. It looks like I might be doing some remote refurbishment. So, more on that on another episode. Welcome to Casa Stefano. This is my story of buying a house in Italy, sight unseen during the pandemic, and the adventure of renovating the house and exploring the Salento in Southern Puglia. Well, as you can see, the found pipework that is running through here, which is the small one, together with the cast iron, which I'm going to get them to change. So this is where they're going to run the soil stack. Some serious digging is going on. And this is here. I just smashed everything up, as you can see. So they don't really need access from outside. They can actually do it from here. But that's that one down there. So anyway, I'm waiting for him. I'm going to explain to him all the things that need to be done tomorrow. And uh, I can, I'm going to get him to connect that rain thing there. Probably just take this off, chase the wall as well, and embed it into the wall. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to them and see what uh, I'm going to do with this. See what's the best solution. Get rid of this here. It's too many bends. And plus it's external. Well, there's nothing like seeing your old little bathroom just ripped to shreds there. So, yeah, uh, let alone the floors throughout the uh, entire house. Here they've already pulled out the sewer pipe. And uh, it ended up being a lot more work than I originally thought. I'll talk about this in a second. Um, but, yeah, just... Tearing up everything, replace everything, when you think about it. Uh, I don't know how old this plumbing was. Uh, probably not that old, 20, 30 years maybe at most, but uh, it needed to go. Look at that. That's uh, basically looking straight down the balcony uh, down below. So they just cut a hole through the bottom of the balcony to put the, uh, uh, the waste pipe in there. There, of course, all the stuff piling up that needs to be hauled away. So this was the uh, little bar area I had talked about in a previous video. So they've uh, gone ahead and started uh, putting in proper plumbing for that. This will be the kitchen right here. So more on that area and what they're going to do in uh, this corner for the kitchen and for the bathroom on the other side. So, yeah, man, it's hard to see your house just being torn up like that. Now it looks like the, the plumbing's kind of coming together. Look at this thing. Uh, all these pipes, uh, basically, why are they all coming from that direction? Well, that'll be clear in a minute. You can see here that they've got all the soil pipes in place. They've plumbed in the, that's basically the tank to flush the toilet. They've mostly recessed that drain pipe. The, so going back, I'll explain that manifold in a minute, but look at the bathroom and all of those pipes. And basically all of the hot water originates up above, and that's why those pipes are going up through the ceiling. There's a storage area above that, that roof, and that's where the main water heater will be. So we've got plumbing for the what will be the new shower, waste pipe for a toilet, and a little bidet wand. And so here's the, the bar. They've plumbed that. We've got a drain and uh, hot and cold water. And then the old washroom, now it gets its own water manifold. 
and there's the hot and cold water and sink for you know a wash basin whatever i need a uh, washing machine there's also a, to uh, a shower there so here's all of the plumbing from so the ma water main comes in and goes to that manifold and up to the water heater and that comes back down so everything gets distributed for the two bathrooms in the kitchen basically from there so that's why we've got all these pipes running through there so yes like davide said in the beginning all new uh, water main at least from that location he explains that after the fact but look at this they didn't bother cutting a channel with a saw they just started hacking through the tile you're looking at brute force digging up that floor it's amazing to see the work that they've done and there of course is the plumbing for the little bar and uh again here you can see they the, there's no straight lines they just hammered straight through there's the uh, hot and cold and drains for the kitchen sink on the near the facing side and for the bathroom sink on the other and this was a uh, kind of a surprise they just threw it in uh, if you want water and a drain to the roof uh, it's got to go that way so I have hot and cold water and a drain up to the roof, which was excellent um, for future. And there's the, uh, there's the toilet. Um, that will be covered up by drywall, basically. And I'll have to box in the top there because it sticks out a bit. You can see the rebar that they ran into. Um, and yeah, I think for, uh, for such a small house, I think I have more plumbing over plumbing for this house uh, but but it's awesome this of course for a sink a washer dryer unit maybe a, sh a shower there I, I haven't really figured a lot of those things out so i've got contingencies in place for whatever i decide going forward um but uh yeah, you can see how, because they've torn up the whole house, that's why I need new tile. And again, there's the distribution for hot and cold for the these two rooms. The other one was for the uh, basically the bar and the small bathroom. And this blows me away, just all this, all this plumbing in place for a small bathroom. It's amazing. There's the shower uh the toilet and it, no room for bidets so they've installed these little the plumbing anyway for the what i call the magic wand that's that the plumbing for it there uh if you've used one you know what i'm talking about and again going up to the ceiling stephen as you can see from the video the first part of the plumbing it's been done actually they've re-plumbed the whole house so i think we started with uh, one thing but now you've got new plumbing all the way through i've actually got them to intercept where the water was coming up the stairs and so here is where they've made a connection which is going to be in line with this first slab so if one day you want to change the rest then we can take it from there with just a very little disruption. So from here, literally all the house now is in pecs going new. Um, well, you probably don't need to explain very much, but uh, that's for the little bar thing. You were talking about the height, but you know, you can put them up or down, whatever the important thing is that everything is there now. That's the manifold controlling the toilet on the other side, the kitchen and the bathroom that will be on the other side. We found that the best way to bring the waste to the uh, roof was actually through here. So they've actually gone on to the other side and left it on that little roof terrace of the small bathroom. So from there now, it's easy, easy access to take it up. Uh, what else? Well, here we have both. We got the connection for the little bathroom and the connection for the kitchen. So you can take it from here with a waste servicing both of them. Uh, 
in here, I couldn't hold them back. Unfortunately, these guys, you know, they just had to do what they have to do. So they've already fitted uh, the, the waste there. Uh, they've embedded everything into the wall. So really there you can go flush with a board. You don't have to build a box or anything like that. Probably just a little box because they came across actually a concrete joist there with some metal. So apart from that little piece from here, you'll have to build probably a little box. Everything else can be flushed to the wall. We just have to get two toilets, one for here, one for the other side. So that completes this. Then stepping in here, we have another manifold there, which controls this area here. Um, I'm not sure if from here he's controlling that little kitchen there as well, that's on the other side, but you've got the hot and cold. Here we've put taps there, so you can, you know, that's for the washing machine with the waste over there, but also you can have a little sink, you can decide wherever where you wanna do. And here as well, we got hot and cold water, and I've put the waste on the ground in case you wanted to have a shower here. So that's that's entirely up to you if you want to put a shower here. When we do the flooring here, obviously we will put uh, in place the siphon, which is already there. Yeah, so we'll towel around. So anytime you want to put a shower here, you just have to towel this bathroom, put a mixer there and you can have a shower. So this is all done. And then stepping into the bathroom in question. So we've already got the cistern. The cistern onto the wall is fitted. The toilet, which I need to pick up. Uh, waste for the sink. That's the mixer for the little jet wash. And this is where the water comes out. So this is already mixing hot and cold. And it's the same thing in the other bathroom for the little shower bidet thing and the connection for for the new shower uh, with the siphon on on the floor as well there i don't know if you can see it is a bit dark here so job done it's taken about nine days actually two guys working so it's been uh, absolutely amazing so yeah i'm very very pleased so they've also removed all the debris and taken everything so they've just left what they found here when they came the cardboard boxes boxes and the mattresses Oh, I've kept that, which I'm probably going to take it on the roof. So if one day you want to use it, recycle it. It's quite beautiful, that porcelain. Also because it's a couple of hundred euros to buy anyway. So that's it for me. When you're having your first coffee, some stuff to look at. I learned something really important with this whole plumbing endeavor. I, I started out just wanting to get a toilet in that little bathroom and doing some pretty basic, mostly drain slash sewer work and ended up getting all new plumbing throughout the house. And that's really the lesson. If we're going to do something, do it right. I probably would have just done one little thing at a time here and there and the house just would never have been right. You've seen me fuss with all this plumbing in previous videos. So very special thanks to Davide and Salenta with love. Uh, he really took charge and guided me and directed me to kind of fix the plumbing issues already. So that's what happened. And uh, I've got everything really set up and bulletproof for the future. So special thanks also to Davide. He provided all that video that you saw in this uh, episode and uh, did a fantastic job keeping me updated along the way. And so now I, I still haven't actually seen the work in person, but I'm looking forward to getting back to Galatone very soon and uh, getting back to work, finishing out the bathrooms. Uh, kind of tired of dealing with bathrooms, but it's been fun. Anyway, like and subscribe, links below, and once again, thanks for watching.